familiarizing Microsoft Visual Source Safe. Source Safe manages your project by saving changes in files into different versions to a database, sharing and recovering older versions at any time. Select Visual Source Safe Admin from the program menu. Type the administrator password. The password of the database will be blank if you are running Source Safe for the first time. Select Create Database from the Tools menu to create a new Source Safe database. Select a location to create the database. Select Open Source Safe Database from Users menu. Browse the location for the newly created database. Change the password of admin for the newly created database. Select Add User from Users menu. Type the username and password for the user to be created. Execute Microsoft Visual Source Safe. Log into the selected database using an existing username and password. Right click on the root folder and select Create Project from the pop up menu. Type the project name. Add sub projects. Create a test application in VC++. Right 
click on the folder icon and select the working folder. Select the folder of the test program. Select Add Files from File menu. Select the files to be added and controlled by the source safe. Add comments to easily identify the file versions. Try to make changes in the file. While trying to save or compile the file, a message box will pop up showing that the file is read only. Right click on the file and select Checkout. Checkout will change the read only property of the file and block the access to other users. Check-in will save the changes made by the user into the source safe database and sets the read-only property of the selected file in the local folder. Show history will show the differences between the two versions of the selected file. The difference between the two versions of the selected file is highlighted. Click the Get button to replace the file in your folder with the selected version from the source safe.
Replacing the file in your folder with recent version from the source safe. Log in as a different user. Setting the working folder and getting the latest version of the project from the source safe. Taking the latest version from the source safe.
modification made by the user shown.